So you don't see me use this often enough, the parts cleaner. Um, it's just, just kind of thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna give this a scrubbing and a cleaning and a soaking. Um, I'm going to give it a long soak in the paraffin, but just to begin, let's see if we can get this face uh, cleaned so that we can see what it says. Hmm? So let me do that. Let me clean this up without losing the, the names or the letters on it. And um, let's see what we find. Hmm? Let's see what we find. This is where Amazon is, comes in. To, ordinarily, I would have run in the house and grabbed the scrubbing brush from the wife and ended up in the doghouse. You have to go to the Asda, you'd have to go to the shop to buy them, wouldn't you? You can just order them like that. They're as cheap as chips to buy. Put them in your little supplies. And when you want to do some sort of gentle cleaning, just to get the filth off to begin, you've got your own little supply. And you haven't had a telling off off the wife. So um, this um, the, 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 the stuff that's available online that can de get delivered to your door now is absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm, well, I know you don't see me do clean-up videos very often, but don't be stingy with the 50-50. Is that what it is? Yeah. Don't be stingy with the 50-50. Is that, is that the right words? Yeah, it is. Don't be stingy with the 50-50. It's the same. You can buy small packets of wire wool. It's amazing what you can get. Do a bit of shopping. Give yourself a couple of quid or, you know, a fiver each item and, and go mad. Yeah, go mad and go and get your stores full. Because this sort of stuff's going to disappear. So our goal here was to find the name, wasn't it? Hmm, it's in the USA. USA, look. Something, land, something land, something land, M, something land. So what is that, something? Land, I think. Definitely USA, isn't it? Or is it O U S A? Does that mean something else? We have got a patent number. Number four. Patent. Number. Is it a th three one one? 393, or is it 383? No, it's 383, isn't it? Patent number 3113. Let's get a bit. Let's get a lot closer. The camera really good for that, isn't it? Patent number 311. Oh, 893. Right, come on. Let's get around here. Let's get around the USA. Something and, oh, something and, oh, USA, osh, something and, off, what is that, what is that, oh, e, or no, and something in there, something land, or could be and, something and, oh, USA, hmm, more, and right, no, it's not that, is it? Hmm. Os, o S T. Is it an F? Hmm. So, I'm going to start to dismantle it. This is well jammed. That is well jammed. Hmm. But it'll be nice to dismantle this, wouldn't it? And uh, pull it to pieces and put it back together again. It can't be that hard. That technical, they might be a bit of a, so it must go from an inch to two inch, an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarters and two inch. 
possibly. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. There's nothing, is there anything, and there's nothing underneath, is there? No. And this bar seems to rotate. I've seen plenty with two of the bars here. I've seen a few of them in the books. I've seen a few of them. Very, very similar. So now we can get to cleaning it and pulling it apart, shall we? So I didn't want to um, force this here. You can see this is snapped off, this wing nut. So this, I didn't really want to push this wing nut in any way. I wanted to just grip this. Well, we've seen these, we've, we've had them loads of times in the shows and whatever. And it grips the top there and there wasn't much resistance, but it did the trick. It opened it without putting any pressure on possibly breaking this ear. But as it turns out, this turns very easily and this turns very easily. Ooh, so far, so good, so far, so good. So we've got movement here. We've got movement here. Just, we've got movement here, look. Hit it. We've got movement here. We've got the most movement here. I'm presuming this is like a chuck. I'm presuming you turn this around and inside here there'll be like a spiral spread thing. So, I think it's and maybe this is the tab that you tap on to turn this round, which makes they go in and out. Not sure what they do, what they secure. But this has come off, and this is nice and loose. So, we're ready for tapping. We're ready for tappy tap tap, see what we hear. Oh, do you know all them little hammers we bought? All them little hammers we bought in the car boot. It's ideal for this. You're not itching it with anything, any strength. You just tap, 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 tap. Testing, just gently testing. See if the damn thing will move. And of course, if you want to hit it harder, you can. But it's great just to explore. You can explore with a little hammer without doing much damage. And this, I think, is moving just fine. Oh! This is what makes it move in and out. Can you see now? Hold on, let's do that. There we are. Do you see? There's the adjustment there. I don't know where zero would be. Oh, we are. A. A, A. I'm guessing one inch. One inch. A, A. Is that the right mark for A and A? Is that the beginning? And then you come around. But anyway, look. This top half. And obviously this is the ring that keeps that in place. So there won't be any need to um, just keep cleaning, keep lubricating, keep working it backwards or forwards, backwards or forwards. So I think the top is fine. Let's, uh, let's see what the bottom has to say for itself. So now, the bottom is working just fine as well. Look, obviously it needs plenty of cleaning, plenty of liquid. But that's, that's what holds the pipe in the middle and this is what does the thread on the top. No. Wow. So you can have two sizes of pipe, can't we? We can have an inch pipe, uh, AA, I'm guessing guessing and that would adjust it in maybe is that a three eighths um is that a half does this go around a bit more do you think do we need to no i'd say when it goes flush i'd say it's in as far as it's gonna go wow look at that there's a stop to that that comes to a stop there this comes to a stop here as well. So, what a beauty. Wow. What a surprise. Woohoo! Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much, Steve. 
Thank you very much indeed. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that was that's quite a surprise. That's come on lovely, that has. So here it is. Oh, look at this. Hold on, let me see. Let me do that to you. Oh, look at this now. Full range of movement. They push back in slightly because that's just the play. Look, we've got a number three there. We've got a number one here. And just behind this number two, there's a number two there, look. And now, really smoothly moves in and out. So the bottom is amazing. Mm. And then turn it around the top. Uh, the top's the same. So you'd put your pipe in. So the bottom would centralize your pipe. You'd put your pipe in here and then you would hold it and that would centralize the, the pipe, or you put it center on the pipe, then you would move your threads in to wherever you want it to go, and then to turn it round, and then you'd move your threads in again, turn it round until you got to where you wanted to go. Yeah, absolutely. It's really sweet, it's running really well now. The, this clamp holds this top ring, and there's, there's a clamp that goes in and through here that clamps those two together. Um, wow, that's a, that's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely, jubbly. Thank you very much, Dave. No, I don't think there's no more movement on that because once they're in, they're in. They won't go any further. That's a, you can hear it come to it. You can hear that one go to a stop, go to a stop. This, this would be the same. And again, the retaining ring on the bottom. Um, I wouldn't, good luck with getting this retaining ring off. But if you don't need to take it off, then don't take it off. Just sit this now and let the liquid get into it and really clean it up. Wow. That's a beauty, that is. Absolute beaut. Lovely. We'll have to find that in the book now, won't we? They all look pretty similar. This design here, and the way this bolt works here, will be the, the key, do you think? Hmm. Let's uh, let's find this in the book. More in the books. So look at this. Then we know you've seen this before. Hold on. Uh, you've seen this before. This lives. It's it's one I've got. Just one of. It's a little giant. Massachusetts little giant. Um. Hold on, where are we? Here we are. It's a little giant. So, are we lucky? Are you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> so let's see if we are lucky. Let's unscrew this handle out of here. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Because it's got USA on this. Uh, it is tapered, the thread. Um, which is USA or just standard pipe thread for the handle. Look, Woo, the handles go on this lovely. Wow, wow, yeah, isn't that just amazing? So, should we need handles? We've um, we've got handles, yeah, look at that. Oh, how um, how fortunate are we to have got this one? This is like the we've got handles in that set and another set, but, so we've got handles to fit it. Oh, ho, 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 yeah! So <clears throat> I want you to take on Reggie's mantra. Yeah, do you remember the cable snap? 
And yeah, I shouldn't have changed it on my own. It was bloody dangerous, yeah. So I had a spare, didn't I? And the spare was hanging on here. So rather than using the spare and then now having to buy the next one, if you use your spare one, then buy the next one ready. So we bought two ready now. We've got two, so we've tied them to the door. So because they're available and you can get them because these things, how do things run out and you never get them again? So what we've done, we've the spare one I had, I put on the door, didn't I? Uh, and then I bought two spare ones. We're ready for them to go again now, haven't we? Yeah, so it's gonna it, um, stretch the life of the door because say you did snap one and you couldn't get hold of one again, you're up the creek without a paddle, aren't you? But for the same money you would have spent anyway to replace it, always use your spare one but remember to replace the spare one so i've got two spares here now so that'll e elongate the life of the door for quite some time quite some uh, easy another i'll probably easily get another 10 years out of it yeah so all is good all is good so now we know this is a thread chaser wasn't there was a number 10 on there wasn't there hmm let's um let's clean it up let's see if we can get a name something out of it is there something there mm, maybe mm. let's get a name and a number out of it i think i've seen 10 there hmm yeah let's give this a clean then So here it is, it looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks really nice, just to clean up on the wire brush. We found the 10, but there's something, is this LA or CA? What is that? Let's, um, tell you what we'll do, we'll zoom this, right? We'll zoom it and we'll have a look, right. What does that say, A, something? It's not a broad arrow, is it? Is that a C, oh, oh actually, it's a broad arrow. Blimey! It's a broad arrow, isn't it? Is that a broad arrow? I can see a broad arrow and an LA on it. Can you? Wow. Let's move that into the light. Or is that too bright? Hmm. Choose this light. Is that a better light? Yeah. That might be a better light. It's a broad arrow on it and an A. Possibly a CA. Hmm. Well, on a number ten. Well, no, that's not number one. That's number. That's not number ten. That's number what? Is that a full stop? Oh no, it could be a ten. Anyway, that's the good thing about the books. You can browse through the books and you can find them. You know, in the internet, you'd have to know what it is to go and find it. But um now and there was a huge choice there wasn't there so we might go back to the books and we might um uh what does number 10 mean what size is number 10 and you see that's a it's a lovely thing isn't it hmm so we've got to look at the bottom of toolboxes and look for these because there must be loads of them number 10 and woo a broad arrow, a bonus, a broad arrow. We love stuff with broad arrows on, don't we? Hmm, thank you, Steve. Thank you very much, Steve. I'll keep our eyes open for them now. There must be a, a set to collect. We'll have to consult the book, won't we? We'll have to consult the books. Well, I did find it. <laughs> Cuckoo Clock 65, Robert made a film made a compilation of all the films of the chatting and the car boots and I find it quite interesting it was quite nice we've had a pleasant really pleasant Sunday on our morning getting up early going to the car boot and um, on his film you could see me buying this um, because I tend to collect mega I do like mega when I find it anything with a mega on it I collect it um, not that I'm any sort of a collector, you understand. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, 
I thought, where the hell do you know the stuff has come in, goes on a shelf and forgotten about. But yeah, look, I, I do like collecting Mega and also Bakelite, the sum up here, look. And the sum over there, that's Bakelite, another tester. We like collecting the testers, don't we? In, um, in their boxes. So you've seen all them, haven't you? If you haven't, just give me a shout and I'll, and I'll do another film of the, of the electrical collecting stuff. But anyway, hmm, I have found it mega. Blimey, blimey.